Hi, I'm Isaiah with Wood, Brass, and Glass, and today for this film, I'm going to be focused on getting the Teflon ring portion made for the second uh, Searle Effect Generator replica. So the first thing I need to do is get the inside dimension for that. So go ahead and get this guy out. 7.62. Switch this bad boy off. So one of the things I do, I use an online calculator. And I will provide the link to that calculator in the description below. Uh, first, I mic'd out the inside dimension, which is here, and then the height. Well, I found the relative average dimension, so I went a little bit bigger, just a smidge. Found the height, 2.25 inches. Uh, the weight, I want 2851.4 grams, or five. Uh, that's all the thing would, would give me on the online calculator. And then this came out with the center dimension for the Teflon, which is where the core will fit in. So I'm going to go way below this, obviously, because I just need to make the outer surface this dimension and then work from the inside out until I get my weights correct. Now, when ordering materials, everybody knows this, you always order too much. So I ordered uh, 2.5, 8 by 8. I'll provide a link to the description of the company that sold me this. Uh, they're actually based out of California, but they have a local office here in Oregon. And uh, I've worked with them for years, and they can get me just about anything I need plastic wise. Politron is their name, I believe. Politron Plastics. Here's that beautiful white block of Teflon. Oh, yeah, there it is. One thing I've noticed in the past, don't presume these edges are perfectly square. Yeah. A big block of white. This thing weighs like aluminum. It's so heavy and slippery. It feels like a pulling a block of ice. Beautiful. There's a little bit of dirt smudge or dust, uh, but yeah, oh, that's good. Okay. The Teflon's all set up. I already put a little pile of holes, but I'm going to go through it with about a 13 16th bit and that'll uh, get it ready for the boring bar uh, to core out the center to about two and a half inches so I can fit in this eight inch chuck in there. It does get hot. <laughs> All right, got my boring bar all hooked up, and I'm gonna go, go for the inner diameter of 2.5 inches. Here goes nothing. Cool, center block is cored, so it went up to 2.6 inches. You know, who cares? Now it's to clean all the wonderful stringy Teflon up. Yeah. Pretty. You can fill your pillow up with it, as long as you're not allergic to it. <laughs> it's power time. Thank you. <laughs> so I went and reset the, the chuck all the way around, so now it's gripping from the inside, and I cut the outside with the uh, left-handed boring bar. Check this out, it's snowing. Uh, 
after you're done cutting your Teflon, you can use a nice sharp razor blade and go against the surface, back beveling it. Do not go forward. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, back bevel it time after time, several passes, and it'll bring it'll bring back the polish. And then you can do the face, which I did too, and. That'll return the polish that was near originally brought with this piece when I bought it. Just nice and smooth is what you're trying to do. Uh, the goal of this is so that as time goes on, uh, dirt won't collect in these pores and the cut lines from the carbide tool. It'll just be nice and clean and polished like a piece of glass, basically. And dust won't collect and make your part look dirty. Ooh, look at that mess. So, like I did in the copper ring video. Um, start with the target weight which is 2151.5 grams. Start weight is 3244.6 or 0.7.8 counting up. Maybe gravity is affected in this little zone I have. I don't know. It's weird. Whew. Okay. How's a bit of work? The target weight's been accomplished. 2851.5, 2851.5, done. We went through all these numbers. <sighs> okay, well, this only took like 45 minutes. So this is the test to see what I am really made out of. <sighs> Excellence. Okay, so now the real test, if that weight calculator is really worth what it claimed it was worth. So the weight calculator said that the inner diameter should be 3.64, outside is 7.63. I dialed in about 7.64, I think, on the outside. And this is the weight. So let's see what happens. I don't even know. Well, it's close, real close. 3.6065. So, what the weight calculator said, it was six, four, six. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can't even see that sucker. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed. The weight calculator, calculator said it should have come to right there. So that's, I'm, I'm impressed. It was barely off. I'm real impressed. Okay. I mean, that could be, it almost just fits in. That's awesome. So, again, the weight calculator could just be used as reference points. Don't, for me, I'm not going to just cut down to that and assume that weight calculator is 100% on. But I'd say it's like 99% on. Next, we go for the element I have been waiting for years to do the inner core. And that'll be on my next video. All right. Well, if you've enjoyed watching this video of me doing the Teflon ring and showing all, all the points and all the techniques I use, uh, click that like button and please don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one where I'm going to be doing the long-awaited center core. Take care, everybody. God bless.